Namaste and welcome. It's Ashna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each and every one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a beautiful reading for all of you, for the Twin Flame Collective, for the Twin Flame community who are on this Twin Flame journey as this amazing gateway of 1111 is opening up. 1111 ushers in great spiritual energy. It opens up the doors for us to connect to the deepest parts of our soul, to connect to the higher angelic realms, to really get in touch with who we are, the divinity within. And as we do as twin flames, we are creating wholeness and oneness within us. And as we do, we magnetize that divine counterpart to us who themselves are going through that process of soul connection and soul time. So let's explore together to see what are the energies that are coming in what are the messages you're needing to know from your divine self from your angelic team from your guides from your divine counterparts for the twin flames as this amazing 1111 gateway is opening up what are the twin flames needing to know angels multi-dimensionality the frequency of multidimensionality activates our awareness of our true essence, which is eternal and multidimensional. In this 1111 gateway, what's going to happen is you're going to begin to open up to many different aspects of you. You're going to realize there's not just one thing that you like or who you are. You realize different potentials within you. You realize different um different talents within you they're going to emerge and you're going to realize that there are times where you like the solitude there are times when you like uh, the hustle and bustle there are times when you want to have this oneness and the quiet time and there are times when you are expressing outwards and there are so many different aspects and layers of you you're going to begin to realize that you're not just operating out of one dimension there's so many dimensions and so many aspects of you so you're beginning to harmonize that you're beginning to harness that so with this I'm feeling that you're going to begin to harness many different timelines, different talents, different psychic gifts. They're going to begin to open up, okay? Because that's your true essence, because you're existing in so many different planes and different dimensions. Okay. 11 11 message for the twin flames. Eleven eleven message for the twin flames. Sword of Light. This feels like the Ace of Swords before I even look at it. But this this feels like the Ace of Swords. So I already feel that with the 1111 Gateway, you're going to get a deep, a deep activation. You're getting a very strong activation in your energy field, in your aura. You're getting a lot of the golden light come in. When the golden light comes in, you begin to activate your life purpose. You begin to activate you begin to activate why you came here on earth at this time, why you incarnated on earth at this time. There's going to be a clarity of vision as you connect to your soul purpose, your soul path. And as you get clarity about it, as you get insight about it with this 1111 activation, you'll begin to express that and your heart is going to open up and you're anchoring in your true self, your divine self, your truth. The sword of light, divine protection, cords cut, breakthrough energy. So this already feels with this 1111 gateway, my friends, twin flames. If you have gone through a lot of karmic situations, a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles, which is part and parcel of the twin flame journey to coming into union, to coming into wholeness as we descend into the depths of our heart. Now, certain connections as we are traversing this land, we get attached and um, they are draining our energy, all right? So in this 1111 gateway, with the spiritual light coming in, with the deep protection coming in from the angels, you are protected. Your angelic team is supporting you. This, this divine light is going to come in. And I'm also feeling the transmutation of uh, Saint Germain. I'm seeing the violet eye in my mind's eye, okay? Even though this is the golden aura, I'm really sensing the violet flame for some of you, okay? So that violet flame is going to bring in protection. It is going to Card, cut the cords that are keeping you 
that are ke that is keeping your light locked in so your light in a light can shine there's going to be some breakthroughs that come through about your life about your life purpose about your relationships about why you're here thank you angels 11 11 message for the twin flames ancestor spirit connecting to your lineage a family wound or pattern can be healed now so i feel like there's a certain repetitive repetitive pattern that you have been in your family okay that has been taking place in your family lineage with this 11 11 gateway and this new with this in surge of energy coming in okay with the surge of energy coming in you're going to be able to see and recognize certain patterns in your family and there's a certain wounding from which your generations you know generations prior to you have operated with a certain thinking pattern and you as twin flames have incarnated to anchor in higher vibration to anchor in the vibration of love and light for you to anchor in vibration of love and light you must come from a loving place okay you chose this family okay? you chose to be incarnated in this family since you chose to be incarnated in this family you're chosen to help break the barriers to help break certain patterns okay to heal that family line to heal that family lineage and that is what is available for you with this 1111 gateway. Messages for the twin flames for this 1111 gateway angels. Four four the generator. Nine nine harmonize. And seven seven healing separation to go within. Okay, let's start with this first. Okay. So I'm seeing over here with the four four generator staying grounded. With this multi-dimensionality and the four four number over here, I feel the numbers four four seven seven nine nine are being activated with this eleven eleven portal. And the nine nine it talks about the light, let your light shine. And we talked about the sword of light. Okay, that's what I talked about. So the message over here for you is that this 9-9 is bringing in a lot of harmonization in your twin flame connection. Okay, Whether you've connected with your true twin flame or not, at an energetic level, you're harmonizing the polarities. Okay, You're healing the separation because you're going within. As you're going within and healing that separation, you're also healing that wound in the family lineage. Okay. And uh, you may be seeing those number 77. That's a special activation for you, Twin Flames, to uh, take time to meditate, to feel what you're feeling, to see why you're feeling that way and bring in love, bring in healing, bring in um, divinity, connect with the divinity within. Now, with the multidimensionality and the 4-4, you are very high power, like a generator. Generator is a big source of energy. Okay. a big source of energy now you as this big source of energy wherever you are in your family in your workplace in your friends group wherever you are in that location you must continue to stay grounded you must take these steps whether it is to uh, detox from people you know take forest baths uh, take uh, baths in in the oceans or or the water connecting with the element of water connecting with the natural elements with the earth element okay taking walks in parks or in gardens or in the mountains connecting with the natural grounding okay breathing in the light and putting that light in through your feet, connecting your feet onto the ground and letting the light move into the ground. That is your grounding energy. Stay grounded with this 1111 because there's surge of light coming in and you're anchoring in higher vibration. So we can feel a little bit flitty. We can feel a little bit, um, you know, um, up in the head. Um, so stay grounded, okay? That That's the big message that's coming in for all of you, Twin Flames. We'll take the next layer of message. Five five, master alchemist, and I was telling you I was feeling the violet flame, and I'll show you. It says your violet flame activation. Two two divine order. <clears throat> Five 
Tenten, High Priestess, Expanded Consciousness. So what I'm feeling with all these messages is that um, there's also the activations of the number five. And both of you, you and your divine counterpart are master alchemists, okay? And with the master alchemist is you're alchemizing the lower frequencies to love. You're integrating the shadow. And that's what alchemy is. Okay, that's what alchemy is. Both of you, and it says here, violet flame activation, right here. That's what I was picking up up here with the sword of light. So you're alchemizing the lower frequencies of sadness, of anger, of betrayal, of hurt, and a jealousy into higher vibrations of love, forgiveness, acceptance, and unconditional giving. Okay, Know that whatever is taking place is exactly how it's meant to be. Everything is working in divine order. And um, you're being asked to exercise greater patience. Okay, Patience. Patience is a divine feminine quality. Whether you're the masculine or the feminine watching this reading. Okay? Everything is taking place as per plan. Okay, As per your divine plan. You're healing this big separation wound in your family. You are the high priestess. You've taken birth in this family whether you're male or female. With the high priestess energy, you have an expanded consciousness. And with this expanded consciousness, you have a greater understanding of what things are. You see things from a higher perspective and you're bringing that in in your family life. And even, even though they may not say it directly, your 3D family may not say directly that you're bringing in this light, you are. You're bringing in deep insights and you're helping expand the consciousness of the family that you are in. Okay. Whether they appreciate it, recognize it or not, with a 10-10, you are expanding other people's consciousness wherever you are. And that's the reason why you incarnated in that family or you are uh, in a family of your own, meaning you are a mother, you have your own family, your own children. Um, either ways, you are the high priestess. Okay, male or female, you have a deep connection to the spiritual realm and you're bringing in higher consciousness. You're expanding the consciousness of people around you. So don't doubt your path. Like when is my big purpose? That is one of your biggest lessons. That is one of your biggest uh, path that your divine self has put you on is to heal that um, family wound. Okay, your ancestor spirit guides are present here right now. They're wanting to tell you that, that that's what you are doing right now. We got another 7-7. Seven, seven. So 7-7 seven, seven is a very big number for you. Mystical messages, follow the signs. So with this 11-11 portal, the greater, you're going to begin to see greater synchronicities. Okay, And you are receiving these messages in your unique way. You're the high priestess both male or female, divine masculine, divine feminines watching this reading, you are the high priest or the high priestess. You're receiving signs, so trust your signs. Trust the signs that you're receiving. You're receiving guidance on how to alchemize some things. You're receiving guidance on how to listen to the signs that your body is giving, okay? Because you have this multi-dimensional energy, okay? And what to do in a family. So go within anytime you're doubting, you connect with your uh, ancestor spirit, connect with your guides, go within. Okay, Everything is exactly in perfect order. Nine, nine, look at that. We get nine, nine, seven, seven, twice over sacred sexuality, accessing the unified field. I feel like uh, both you, Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are connected very strongly. Where, where your chakras are very strongly connected at an energetic level. So there's a great amount of this. Your sexuality is very sacred. Okay, So with that sacred union, there is a greater expansion of the consciousness. So even if that union has not taken place right now in the physicality, there is an energetic connection. And that's what the energetic connection is bringing in harmony, is bringing in balance, is bringing in, is bringing in alchemy, okay? Is generating great amount of energy and it's healing the separation, okay? So honor that, honor your feelings, honor your sexual energy, okay? And uh, trust your inner guidance, trust your inner self. I'll take a final message from here before I move to the next deck.
we have 88 speaking your truth and express yourself i got uh, throat chakra in the general um, no, 11 11 reading that i did with this 88 up here this is really speaking of that you're being guided to express who you are you're being guided to speak your truth what is your truth and i feel that is important even in your family that your family may be doing things a certain way but you're being guided to speak your truth which may be different than what the family expects or wants Okay? But you must stay because you are coming from an expanded consciousness. Okay? And go within to seek that solace, to seek that love, to be that love. Okay? And you're healing that wound where people didn't, in your family life, that's what I'm picking up, in your family lineage, perhaps past generations or yeah, past generations, uh, at some point forgot to go within, forgot to listen to the inner voice and began to only listen to what the others are saying. So you're here healing that wound, you're healing that separation, okay, you're bringing in love. That's beautiful. We'll take some messages from here. Eight of Wands. Twin flame messages. Oh my God, we get the 11, 11, four of wands. The nine of pentacles. The lovers. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous energies. This 11, 11. The king of cups beautiful and the five of cups so what i'm feeling over here uh my friends twin flames is that this 11 11 portal you are definitely drawing in a divine counterpart to you in the physicality with the lovers here and the four of wands here there's going to be a great amount of communication that comes in okay there's going to be a lot of communication with the eight of wands this is going to be and i and and it talked about sacred sexuality so it's going to begin to manifest in the physicality with the 11 11 gateway and the sacred sexuality accessing the unified field uh maybe the time is now maybe the time is now for you to meet your true twin flame your true uh, divine counterpart in the physicality okay so there's going to start there's going to be that flow of energy that begins to show up in the physicality because these wands are anchored here in the physical earth so you stay grounded you you are the generator i see a happy a happy thing a happy couple okay the couple okay this is not like male and female but a happy couple masculine and feminine energies coming together celebrating um so there's going to be a lot of celebrations this 11 11 is going to bring in with a four here uh it's taking me back to the generator four 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 so definitely you're meant to anchor in this strong vibration of unconditional love unconditional acceptance you're going to be the one who's going to be speaking about it you're going to be the one who's going to talk about how with the independent here how you heal the separation yeah, we're talking about the independent energy with the nine of pentacles is to go within okay so as you go within you're finding the independence within you're finding the love within you're finding the acceptance within you're finding all that you need within and from that self self love place you draw that self-confidence you draw that self-love you radiate that beauty you radiate that strength okay so i see you radiating that Okay. And uh, divine feminines, you are going to be financially independent. You are going to have enough. And that is part of your journey okay, to tap into your inner divine masculine. And masculines, you are going to be expressing. You're going to be feeling your emotions at a deep level with the king of cups here with this energy. You're going to look at the things of the past, what have not worked out with the five of cups, perhaps the past relationships or perhaps where you didn't listen to your heart and you followed only the intellect. This was part of your ancestral healing. This is part of your um, lineage that you are clearing. You're now in an expanded state of consciousness. You'll begin to speak your truth about what you love, who you love, um, how you're going to express yourself. You're receiving these mystical messages, divine masculine okay and both 
you divine masculine and feminine are master alchemists okay with 2 2 you're bringing in that order with a 10 10 you're bringing in that expanded consciousness together independently and then together your union is your union with the lovers here is being protected is being guided by the higher forces okay you're going to be anchoring in that higher vibration here Hey, you're going to talk about it. Okay, so stay grounded in terms of that. Let your light shine. Harmonize the polarities. Okay, and you heal that separation. And we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. I'll be closing out the reading with a couple of messages from your guides about your union with this 1111 portal. Leap of faith. go slow <laughs> the polar energies i love it okay leap of faith you jump and then it is go slow take the time to get to know each other this would be when the gateway opens uh you're drawing in a counterpart to you okay, when you're drawing in this love partner to you the angels are saying take your time to get to know each other okay to get to know one another on a physical level on a physical level meaning on the physicality your souls know one another your souls have a deep love deep bond on a spiritual level so understanding the physical differences understanding your ideas and thoughts because you've both been on your individual journeys and now you're here to harmonize so first get to know one another all right and a leap of faith is that i feel this for the for the divine masculine there's a specific message you're feeling that love you have your you're processing regret it's time to speak the truth and go take the leap of faith and for divine feminines with the leap of faith is you can open your heart and trust you trust that this is everything's in divine order and listen to your intuition okay with the intuition card up here with the wheel of fortune this is absolutely a um, a new a person coming into your life okay this is definitely a new person coming into your life uh, your divine counterpart and um, you may be a little bit hesitant if I should take the leap of faith listen to your inner guidance but the angels are saying it is safe for you to take the move or make the move that you are considering and also if you're considering to leave a job to move into a new location or to do some things within the family okay when you're speaking your truth it's going to require some faith and that's what they're saying take that leap of faith or whatever you're trying to shift whatever you're trying to bring forth in your family in your life consider that and uh, go forth for it divine feminines and that was the message for the divine feminines final closing messages uh, from the romance angels if you'd like a personal twin flame reading uh, for the 1111 gateway you can reach out to me the details are in the description box of this video i will do that in 20 minute format it would be a recorded one it wouldn't be a live version okay 11 11 11 i get a lot of personal readings and, uh, and it becomes hard to kind of coordinate the times to do the live so uh for these uh for these readings i'm only offering recorded sessions okay and in the recording you will more than likely not see my face you'll see the cards and you'll see my hands okay just giving you a heads up on that if you'd like a personal twin flame reading <clears throat> similar to this Give your relationship a chance. Let's look at one more. Let's see. Stay optimistic about your love life. All right. So the angels over here are saying that when it's talking about give your relationship a chance, I can see that um, there may be there may be some hesitancy on the part of the divine feminines that she may not be trusting when i say she you could be a male with a divine feminine energy it's just easier for me to speak okay um i see that the divine feminine is not fully open to receiving the divine masculine energy perhaps because of the past and what the divine feminine has encountered so the angels are saying you can just open up go slow give your relationship a chance and let it let it blossom to what it is okay and that's part of your twin flame journey 
Okay, and it's saying here, be optimistic. Okay, you may have given up hope on whether things are going to happen or whether things are going to materialize. And you have been working on calling in your divine counterpart and this 1111 is bringing that in. It's talking about calling in your soulmate. Right? It's talking about calling in your soulmate. You are protected on this. I'll give you a closing message from one of my favorite decks. This one. I close my eyes because I don't want to be biased when I'm looking at I've done this so many times so I kind of have a feeling I know which they are okay so what do we have oh we have passion here so we have the divine masculine and divine feminine a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present so enjoy it with the sacred sexuality and passion everything's in divine order 11 11 is going to bring in that surge of with passion it is a sacral energy and it's obvious that the sacral energy is going to get a boost because with the 11 11 and the surge of spiritual energy coming in it's a boost of life force in the kundalini in the base of the spine in the root chakra and the energy starts to move up so there's a greater uh, energy in our sacral so desires and sexuality sensuality um, expands and that's why it's important to stay grounded and it's important to meditate it's important to keep the higher vision in mind so you can channel that energy towards your heart's desire towards expansion towards service towards helping others towards being on that path and expressing the highest version and connecting to the divine self okay that is the greatest um, gift with this deep kundalini awakening so thank you angels uh, for this beautiful uh, reading for making me a channel for bringing forth the messages for the twin flames and um, I hope this has brought in light healing love uh, in your life it helps you to to grow into your own strength and to trust your own inner self. You are this power light houses, divine masculines and divine feminines. And may you all be in amazing, harmonious union. Okay, that is my wish for you twin flames. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, like I mentioned, you can reach out to me. And if this is where our journey ends, I send you many blessings. May the 1111 portal open up the greatest and the best for you. Namaste.